Weird dimple in chin after receiving two injections of Restylane and some Botox. I just got a few injections three days ago to correct the look of my chin. It is fine when I'm smiling or have no expression, but when I frown or scrunch up my face, there is a weird dimple that shows up. Are the fillers still settling or do I need to go back and have it fixed? Thank you for your question. You submitted your question with two photos and you describing a quote weird chin dimple after undergoing Restylane and Botox for your chin to improve the appearance. And you stated in your question that essentially it looks, the chin looks normal when you smile or when you have no expression. But when you frown or scrunch your face that there is this strange dimpling and you're asking should you go back to your doctor or is the fill, are the fillers still settling? Well, I can certainly share with you my perspective based on this limited um, view of your um, situation in the absence of a physical exam. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and injectable fillers are a very big part of my practice. Uh, in fact, in my specialty, we were the, amongst the first doctors to use Botox, and I've been using Botox for patients since 1993. And as far as the injectable fillers, we actually have a tremendous amount of experience in both the Restylane family and the Juvederm family of hyaluronic acid fillers, and uh, certainly I can give you a, a perspective as what my assessment would be based on your photos. So, to begin with, we want to first understand the causes first by looking at the anatomy. When you have an injectable filler, such as Restylane, being placed, what you are trying to do is you're trying to improve contour through the placement of volume where there's a volume deficit. And so that, that means that the Restylane is adding volume, but it's not affecting function. So, for example, in our practice, we do something called structural volumizing. In structural volumizing, we're using a high viscosity or a thicker filler, such as a Juvederm Ultra Plus or Juvederm Voluma, placing it into the chin area on top of the bone to improve the projection of the chin, essentially doing what we would typically do in surgery with a chin implant. So that concept is volume. Now as far as the, the filler settling, well, yes, the activity of facial movement does allow for filler to kind of mold, but when it comes to what you're describing, you're describing an action that is the result of muscle activity. So what is the explanation of a, a dimple that occurs with muscle movement? It's basically the muscle itself. And in the chin, the, what is responsible for chin dimpling is a muscle or paired muscle called the mentalis muscle. And this muscle is injected routinely with neurotoxin to relax the muscle to improve chin dimpling. The fact that with some movement you have exaggerated dimpling that's asymmetric most likely means that it's the activity of the mentalis muscle that is responsible for this dimpling. And how is that solved? With more neurotoxin. Now, essentially, in, uh, the, the way to think about neurotoxin is to understand the process in which it is first manifested, and then when does it reach its maximal effectiveness? Well, it's been well established that Botox, the onset can be essentially within the first three days, but the maximal effect is at two weeks. So in our practice, we see our patients after two weeks and then do enhancements as is appropriate. So more than likely, we're de you're dealing with a certain asymmetric uh, effect of the neurotoxin in the chin, which is probably, or on the, specifically on the mentalis muscle, 
which seems relatively easy to correct. Just, I think that give, contact your doctor, ask your doctor what, when, you, when they think you should come in. Um, and as I said, in my practice, usually it's two weeks, and that's when we really know that the peak activity has been achieved, and then we can do enhancements from that point. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.